As students and parents get ready for the new school year, teachers and their districts have to get ready too. News 19's Jacob Reynolds talked to one district about the open teaching positions they have left and the challenges in filling them in the Palmetto State. At the Lexington 2 School District Office, Public Information Officer Don Kiava says they're looking to hire five more teachers. Most of our openings are in special ed and um, foreign language, which are two of the areas that the South Carolina Department of Education deems as critical needs areas, and those are ours as well. At the end of last school year, they knew they needed to hire 145 people, mostly teachers, and now they're down to five. Usual year-to-year -year turnover combined with the statewide teacher and employee retention incentive program ending caused a higher number than usual of teachers leaving this summer. The Terry program used to allow retired educators to keep working, so they had to create new incentives. $2,500 hiring bonus for those critical needs areas that I was talking about, special ed and foreign um, language being two of those areas. We um, expanded our recruitment efforts. We normally, and we still do rely most on South Carolina colleges and South Carolina locations for our hiring, but we also attended um, several um, out-of-state fairs. They're not the only ones hiring. Richland 2 told us they had 38 positions to fill. Lexington 5 also has four full-time and one part-time positions open. Hannah Rohr is entering her fifth year of teaching and is a new teacher mentor. She said the current situation is not ideal, but can benefit teachers looking for work. When I hear that there's not a lot of people that are looking to get into this field, I find it devastating because it's so rewarding. Um, but I did know I was going to be set, which was something that's nice because you do get to choose where you want to go, where it's not just um, finding a job. In the Midlands, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Lexington 3 and 4 said they are fully staffed for this school year. The districts who have said they have vacancies said that they had plans to either use long-term subs or other alternatives if the school year starts and they're still trying to make hires.